In this video, we're going to be heading to South End to take part in the half marathon. I'm going to be trying to run a one hour and 45 minute half marathon, and I'm going to be using the A6 Magic Speed 3 to find out if it's any good as a race day shoe. What is up everybody and welcome to our A6 Magic Speed 3 race test. Yes, I wanted to take this shoe to South End to see what it's like as a race day shoe. Now why is that Fordy? Because this is a shoe that sort of um, sits in your rotation and does all the sort of fast speedier work versus um, all sort of compliments like a Nimbus 25. But I think this shoe should be able to then go and do a race. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this down to South End, we're gonna run it hard and see how good it actually is. Because this shoe is vastly improved versus Magic Speed. Two. Right, so before we hit the action down in South End, let's recap some of the stats and features. We've got two layers of Flight Foam Blast Plus. We've got a full length carbon infused p backs plate. We've got this motion wrap upper. It's eight point something ounces, seven mil drop, 160 pounds. Doesn't necessarily fit true to size. You've got ASICS grip on the outsole, and I think it looks awesome in this colorway. Okay, so that's the stats and features very, very quickly. So let's now hit the action in South End and find out if this shoe is actually any good as a race day shoe. World's first tug, back of the car. Magic Speed 2, 3, see you can't even talk. Review down on the floor. I'm absolutely broken, just ran 149 something. That was the hottest thing I've ever run in my life. Like, it must have been 30 something degrees. Everybody backed out. It was so hot, but the shoe, you know what? It did well. So, it was light, it was airy. Again, it is, a, it is a snug fit, so be careful, but we was out at seven, what, was, what pace was we at the start time? 7.30, 7.45, shoe felt good. By the time we finished, we was out to 8.30s, shoe felt good. So you know what, it's, it's, it's very easy to, you know, criticize the Magic Speed, but I think the Magic Speed 3 is, is honestly an, is an alternative to some of the more expensive shoes. If you can't afford 200 and, 20 quid. I think it's, it's really something to think about. But I wouldn't run it in a marathon. I think actually it's probably, it's best at like 10K, but again, if, if you, if you're like an everyday runner and you've got like, I don't know, a pair of Puma Velocity 2s that you picked up from Start Fitness for like 45 quid, and you're looking for a ratio, but you don't have 200, 250 quid, then at 160 pound, and you will get them cheaper than that, I think they're worth, I think they're worth a go. Honestly, they, they really are. So look, there it is. I haven't even touched the outsole, look. Done well today, really did do well. That was a hard, hard race. And I think it's the hard races where you find out how good the shoes actually are. And I think today that shoe, it performed well. So there we go, guys. Magic Speed 3 race review done. Just make sure, like I said, that you check your size and they do come up a bit small. It's the only thing I would say. Um, but yeah, as a... As a race day shoe, if, if you can't afford 200 something quid, I think it's a really good alternative. But there we go. Right, say bye, Toby, even though you didn't have any value. I've had lots of value. Not in this video, yeah. Lucas, I did. Yeah, Lucas, I did. Right, say bye, bye boys. Actually, say bye, boys. Bye, mate. Bye. 